What's going on? Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back. More tech, more reviews, and right out here in front of us, the moment we have been waiting for, iPhone 15 Pro Max. And we know we have ProRes capability in here, but we gotta have it hooked up to an SSD, or maybe a hard drive, or maybe an SSD. Either way, let's talk about it and see which one of these is gonna be the best fit for you, so you don't go out and waste your money. Let's talk. Okay, so for this test, I'm gonna be using several hard drives, which I got over here, G Technology and Western Digital. And then I got Western Digital SSD, SanDisk SSD, and two Samsung SSD. So that's what we're using for this trial. Now, if you got the iPhone 15 Pro Max and you wonder about this setting over here, which is ProRes HDR, it is typically going to be locked when you want to use 4K 60 frames per second. Now, if you come here and you change it to just HD 60 frames per second, you can use it. So feel free to use it. You don't have to plug anything else up. But if you want 4K 60, you got to plug it up to one of these to use it. Or you're going to get this message saying that ProRes not supported. ProRes 4K at 60 frames per second is only supported when recording to external storage devices. So just keep that in mind. And what I found out last night while trying this out is if you do record to one of these storage devices, you will not have audio. So now I got to figure out that whole setup of how to get audio. Because I know that there is a way, I just got to figure out what pieces I need. So let's get started. I want to know if you can use 4K 60 FPS at ProRes HDR on a hard drive. So I'm using the cable that Apple gave me. Got a hard drive connected. Once again, it is not supported. So this hard drive does not work. Western Digital, no go. G Technology. Now this one is a big boy. It actually works with Thunderbolt. It has Thunderbolt capabilities. Uh, this is a four terabyte. Both of these are actually four terabyte. And once again, ProRes not supported. It's still blinking. So I'm gonna give it a moment just to stop the blinking. And I'll put it there so you can see it, but I just want to let it do its thing because it's actually like humming and running and vibrating and stuff. But I'm going to try it again. Okay, now there we go. That gives you max runtime of 109 minutes. So that's perfect. So if you plug it up to a G technology Thunderbolt hard drive, you can take advantage of ProRes 4K 60 frames per second HDR. You got it. Just remember, we're, we don't have audio yet, so I got to figure out how to get audio. And with these, you don't have to eject them or unmount them. You just unplug them, which I find strange. Like that's that's strange, but it does work. So I got another Western Digital SSD. Remember, G technology does work. So we'll talk about which ones work at the end and which ones don't work so you don't waste your money. So got this one plugged up and we'll turn it off and turn it back on. And this one works 260 minutes. So this one is a, I want to say this one's like a two terabyte SSD from Western Digital. Uh, this one works. It's giving us a max time. It will allow us to record. It just won't see it allow It'll let us record. It's just, it's not going to have any audio. So, like I said, we got to fix that. We got to find out that issue and how to fix that. But there we go. All right. Next thing. We got one from SanDisk. So let's see what we can do with this. And it actually swapped to. Let's see. There we go. 60 frames per second. The SanDisk does work. So one of my most rugged, this one is one terabyte, one of my most rugged, and I'll do individual videos. I just want to see what works right now. So once we figure out what works, we'll come back and we'll do individual videos. But this one does work. So we like that. 
Next up, Samsung T7 Shield. Now this is my most rugged, waterproof, dustproof, drop proof, shatter proof, all that good stuff, all the proofs. This is the one that you wanna have, but is it going to work? Perfect, gives us 25 minutes. Now this one is, I wanna say like 500 gigs. These two are both like 500 gigs. So I'm noticing that the higher the storage, the more you know minutes it's giving you. So we got max 25 minutes on this one. Perfect, that works. Turn it back off. Let's try the next one. Now, what I really like about this one is fingerprint security. So we're gonna plug it in and I'm gonna go ahead and lay my finger on there just to unlock it. Just leave it on there for a second because it's not gonna tell you anything on the screen, but it is recognizing my fingerprint and it should be good. Turn on ProRes, I got 23 minutes. So one, two, three, four, and five. These all work. Uh, as of right now, my Western Digital four terabyte hard drive is the only one out of the bunch that does not work. So I'm gonna drop links below to all these that do work. And then at a later date and time, we're gonna come back and I'm gonna do some videoing with these just to see like which one is gonna be the best for you, which they all seem to be working like pretty much on the same specs, but we wanna know which one is gonna be the best for you, which one is gonna be the best for your pocket and which one is gonna be the most cost effective for you to have. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. ProRes HDR video, I'm not sure if I will be using that. Um, see, not supported. So let's plug this in one more time because it seems to be swapping back to that 30 frame per second. So I'm gonna put my fingerprint on that one more time just to make sure that we were telling you the truth. And let's see, it's not finished. There we go, now it's finished and there it is. So it does work. So 4K, 60, it's working, no problems. So like I said, I'll list the ones down below that do work and then we'll come back at a later date. We'll talk about all this stuff and we'll shoot some video and see how it comes out. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, Average Tech out, peace.